Our next project is a fun and simple tuck and fold sports wallet. It's made out of interfacing so it's very light and you can throw it easily into your gym bag with an emergency dollar or a, a ticket or two inside of it. Our basic supplies that we need are a sheet of interfacing in 8.5 by 11 inches, um, a key ring, um, watercolors, and a hole punch, and we'll also need an iron. So the thing we're going to start with is our interfacing, and I've put it onto a protected piece of, of work surface so that I don't get paint everywhere because this portion of the project is very messy. What I've done is I've put water into the paint wells here and I'm going to mix some colors into this so that I get lots of really wet colors and then I'm just going to paint it right onto my interfacing into lots of kind of little blobs everywhere. And you want to use quite a bit of paint and quite a bit of water so that eventually it's all going to blend together. I'm going to rinse my paint and go to my next color. I'm using yellow and pink and orange and these are just beautiful vibrant colors so you're going to get a lot of depth out of this project. So you want to continue blending and I'm going to take one more little bit of orange here, mix it in, there we go. So you would keep on going and adding this and the more you use the better your marble effect is going to be. You can even reach over your project afterwards and kind of just tap some extra color onto it like this and that's going to give it another kind of look and appeal for your project. It's also going to help blend the colors really nicely. So I've got one piece of interfacing already finished, so I'm going to set this one aside. We'll move over to this one. Let me just wipe off our surface so we're all nice and dry again. This is what our finished interfacing looks like. The next step is going to involve the iron, so you will need adult supervision. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it up here. And now this whole process is all about folding the interfacing in the right way. So our first fold goes directly in half and the horizontal way and then we just press the crease. And it's important to press the crease so that you get a nice crisp edge on it. If you don't have the crisp edges your wallet doesn't stay shut very good. Uh, the next one we're going to do is just a little three quarter inch edge on each side. And if you wanted, you could measure this, but it works pretty good just to use your eyes and estimate it instead. That one, and then we're gonna do the other short side the same. Just fold it over, crease it, and we have to do one long edge. So we're gonna open those back up, fold this edge down, and iron it. And as you can see, I'm getting nice crisp edges. Okay, the next fold we're going to do is to fold this piece in and then bring this edge where our center fold is. We'll iron that piece, tuck it back a little bit, and I'm going to leave that in place and fold my other edge over to match, and it lines up nicely in the center. And we'll fold that down. Then we're going to open it up again. And this time, we're going to make little triangles in each of the corners. These little triangles are very important. As you make them, bring the edge of your interfacing to the same, to the next, the closest crease line. And we'll fold that one down. Okay, just two more right here. And you can see that they're popping open a little bit after I fold them. If you were to put a little bit more heat on your project, those would stay down even better. And one last corner. There we go. Okay, I'm going to bring this back over here for our final folds. Now what's going to happen is we're going to fold the corners in and then we're going to fold it backwards this way. Right, there we go. Now everything comes into the center. Open up that long flap. There's this one and this one. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Now up at the top here is that long edge that we have folded over that little bit. We're going to bring it down and I'm going to iron that just to hold it in place. And you can see what that does is it creates two little tiny corners that are little triangular corners. And the next step is to flip up the bottom, oops we came unfolded a little bit, and tuck it up into those two corners. And that's what's going to hold your wallet closed. And that's why you don't need any glue for this project, is it just stays together all by itself. So finally, one last fold over, and then I can press the entire piece. 
At this point, I'll put the iron down and keep it down for a couple of seconds and make sure that everything's nice and firm. Okay, the final finishing touch to our project is to punch a hole in the corner up here and put our ring in. And we're all set to put a ticket into it for our 